Bexley Borough's ward boundaries are changing. The council approached the Local Government Boundary Commission for England to reduce the number of wards from 21 to 18 and therefore the number of councillors from 63 to 45. The Commission has published draft proposals and is asking the public to put forward their own suggestions. There are three things that we're trying to balance with our boundary proposals. The first one is to make sure that um, each councillor represents roughly the same number of voters so that um, everybody's vote is equal when you go to vote at local election time. The second thing we're trying to do is um, ensure that the boundaries reflect community identities, community ties, community interests. Um, the, sh the shape of local communities, in essence. Um, and the third thing we're trying to do is to make sure the boundaries promote effective local government. That means that there's good um, transport around uh, a ward. It can be easily um, represented by a councillor. That the, the, the ward name makes sense, that it's common sense. This is an example of a ward boundary change. Barnhurst Station behind me represents the division between Collier's Ward and Barnhurst Ward. And if the draft proposals go ahead, the two will amalgamate to become one called Barnhurst and North End. So why exactly has Bexley Council decided to make these changes? To reduce money. So councillors have decided that on top of saving allowances over the last sort of seven years or so, reducing numbers of special responsibilities, that they actually would go to reduce the number of councillors, which will mean more work for councillors, but in a time when we're having to save, well, we save £80 million um, from frontline services, actually it makes sense that one of the things to do is to reduce the number of members as well. So the main outcomes is the fact that, obviously, parts of the borough changes at different rates, so you might have new developments, etc. So it should be equal, as in you'll have a similar number of electors per councillor, so you should get a more equal representation. Bexley Council says the notion of boundary changes are supported across all political parties represented in the council, but what they should ultimately look like varies from party to party. The public consultation is open until the 4th of April and the Commission will publish its final recommendations in July. And subject to parliamentary approval, the boundaries will become final from mid-2018.